Okie doke, hello YouTube. Um, so, I'm going to show you today how to create a preset on the Nova system here. Uh, this isn't the limited edition, this is just the standard Nova system that you can buy from any music store, uh, any time of day, unless they're closed, lol. <laughs> um, so, what we're going to be doing, let's focus that up a bit. So, um, there's not going to be any playing, it's just going to be me showing you how to actually create the preset here. Um, so, I'm going to start like this, take everything off. No boost. No verb. No compression. So, right now we've got a clean slate. Uh, I'm going to do a couple different s versions of this for different settings. This one's going to be just a straight clean. Um... I'm not quite sure how this is going to show up on the camera because I don't have an actual camera. I'm using my phone here, but uh, you get the picture. It'll be easy enough. Um, so, what you want to do, decide whether it's going to be a light overdrive or a clean tone. This one is just straight clean, so there's no drive engaged here. This is the drive button you want to off, so there's no light around it and no green light up in the top here. So, next thing up we've got in is compression. So, the way I've got my compression set... I'm at uh, minus 31 dB for the threshold, the ratio is 3.2 to 1, and the attack is 0.3 milliseconds, so every 3 seconds it's, or 0.3 milliseconds it's attacking the signal to compress it, so it gets a really clean, a really short attack time. Now the release is 0.50 milliseconds, or sorry, 50 milliseconds, so every 50 milliseconds it's taking another snapshot of what, it, what you're playing, so that way your pick or your, if you smash a thing hard, if it's a, like a one or two second uh, release on it, every one or two seconds it's taking the snapshot. So if you hit something hard, everything after that is going to take about a second or two to actually get up to the same level. Uh, now, to make everything even, I've got the level on this at about 4 dB. So engage that. Next, we're moving on to EQ. Keep the gate off because you're going to be playing clean, so you don't want the gate clamping down on anything. Uh, use Edit A to turn the EQ on. Okay, use Edit D to move down to the next screen. So frequency 1, I've got about 150 hertz and I've got about a 4 dB boost plus uh, about 1.0 as the width. What that does, it gives it a nice low bottom, uh, kind of nice low end boost and it kind of rounds it out a little more so set it to however you like the sound move down to the next screen which is frequency 2 which I've got at 410 Hertz again the 4 as the 4 dB and the 1.0 width that gives a nice low mid-range to semi high mid-range uh, hump in it so it gives it a nice kind of body to it next I've got a 3.07 K frequency band here uh, what this does is it really makes it sparkle. If you go any higher, it kind of tends to get a bit shrill, but between the 3 and 5K, that's where you really get a nice width to it. I've got about a 2 dB boost on this, and again, another 1.0 width. Um, if you keep going down, then you get into the gate, so you don't have to worry about that. So, next we move to the modulations. Um, so, turn that on, if you want it. I do. So... Uh, for modulations, I've got this set as a vibrato, because what that does is it gives it a nice shimmer behind the pitch, which I'm going to use as my chorus. Um, so the vibrato speed, 1.33 hertz. I have the tempo disabled, and the depth is 66%. I've got the high cut completely off. Otherwise, it takes out the nice sparkle on the, the high end. Uh, so that's the modulation. You can use anything you want. I like flangers on phasers. Uh, they all sound great on clean tones. They just they thicken it up and spice it up a little more. Next up, we've got our pitch. So turn that on. Next, push your tip pitch button. Um, now I've got it set at uh, voice one is ten, voice two is minus fifteen. So it gives it a nice space. Move down using edit D. Uh, now I've got both pitches panned 50% left right, so each one is 50 left, 50 right. Uh, move down again. I've got a zero millisecond delay on it, on either one. The feedback on number or side one is 6%. Feedback number two is 7%. That'll give you a nice bit of a hum to it if you want to think of it like that. 
Uh, now level one and level two are off. I don't. Oh, sorry, they're at zero dB, so they're flat completely, and the mix is at a hundred percent. So next, um, I'm gonna jump over the delay and move right to reverb here for this one. What I've got it set on is spring reverb, which the decays 3.3 seconds. That gives it a nice little trail off if you ever have to switch prep and patches. Pre delay is zero percent. Mix is 12%, move down, uh, I've got the size at medium, the color on it is bright, and the high factor is 6. I didn't really change anything there, it just sounded good. Um, and everything else is stock on that. So you got your reverb, now you want to hit your delay button. You'll see the light on the delay turn on. I've got it set at a dual delay so it thickens it up a bit more. Side 1 is 407 seconds, two, side 2 is uh, 271 milliseconds. Let's move down. Now the tempo for the side 1 is a dotted eighth. Tempo 2 is a, just a straight eighth note. So that way it gives it a nice little bounce off each other. Move down again. Feedback 1, 37%. Feedback 2, 35%. Um, I have no clue what the feedback... Oh, feedback cut. Um, I just kept those stocks 7.9 and 50 on side or 700, 7.94 k on side one. Side two is 50.1 hertz. Pan one 15, 14 left. Pan two 16 right. So it does spread it a spread it a little, but it is still very close. So it does fa fatten things up. The mix is 35%, so it doesn't get in the way, but if you need it there as a solo piece, you've still got a bit of delay in your face. So, when you're done, hit menu, just to take you back, and your top panel, I'm just going to move this so I can see, yeah, that's perfect. Your top panel there should have all those lights engaged except for your drive, because you don't want your drive on on this one, unless you want that. Um, now there is also the boost function, so if you get into that, if you do want your boost on, you can click into the uh, drive setting by simply pushing your drive button. Uh, simple as that, and you can choose the boost here. So this one's at 5 dB, worked for me. Um, now, what I, what I usually do, I hit menu, push menu again, now routing comes up. What you want to do, push menu, I have, everyth have everything as parallel. Um, what this does is it keeps basically any of the last four, basically everything after the EQ, it puts it as separate e or, uh, effect blocks. That way, um, none of the other signals, like say the modulation into the pitch, nothing from the modulation affects the pitch, nothing from the pitch affects the delay and so on and so forth. Now what you do to keep that, hit menu again, push it again, click over using the edit D, go right to the end which is utility, push menu again, keep the effects mute as soft because what that does is gives you the spillover effect, uh, keep going until you see routing lock, now when you have routing lock switch it to on, push menu again, and what that does is it sets every bank that you create as parallel so that way you don't have to worry about other effects and other things changing the sound it just keeps it all the same. Now to store, push store. Now I'm going to keep the name as clean wet because that's just so I know what it's called. I'm going to create a new bank here. So we, I've got stuff in bank two and nothing in th bank three preset one. So if you want to change the name you basically just scroll with edit B, change the character with edit C. What does edit B do? and edit D deletes it, so you don't want to do that. <laughs> um, unless that just means, I don't know. Uh, so, now to store it, it's as simple as this. Once you've created the name and chosen the bank, you push store, boom, preset stored. Now I've got me, bank three is my clean and wet. Now just to change this up, because I do want to have this as my funk patch. Oh, I forgot to turn the compression on. Did I? Oh, that's not one. Um, okay then. So just to change this up, give me two seconds. Mix, I'm going to take down to about 50%. Uh, 
60 percent, eh, 55. This is gonna be my funk bank. Um, so, yeah. Dying delay. Give me two seconds. Mix at about 19. Store. So I now have my clean on my number three bank here. Actually, I should put pitch on again. There we go. And actually, turn my reverb down a bit as well. I'm putting my reverb mix at about five. So there we have it. And you have just created your first preset on your Nova system. Um, now to keep doing that, you basically just tweak it till you like the sound of it. Um, I'm going to do one on the overdrive in the system and how to get a good tone out of that as well as the distortion. So keep your eyes open for that and uh, yeah, hope you dig it and ciao.